transactional freedom is as important as freedom of the press because or freedom of speech. Because if you have freedom of speech in the, in the First Amendment, and yet when you exercise that speech, the government doesn't like it, they can starve you to death, they can throw you out of your home because you can't pay your mortgage or your rent, uh, then that is meaningless. So transactional freedom is absolutely critical to freedom of speech, and you know that's why I've supported if we get a central bank digital currency, they do what they do in China, where they have a currency nowadays, you don't, your currency is your face. So they, you go into a, a, a restaurant, you go into a grocery store, and you buy gasoline, and your face is your credit card. And if you, and you're, they keep a social credit score on you, so that if you don't, if you got your mask off or below your nose on a, on a mask day, if you, if you are not social distancing properly, if you violate some other social norm, you get penalties taken off your social media score. And at some point, they punish you by closing, by, by making you, by, by what they call programmable currency which is your face will only now work at grocery stores that are within a certain radius of your house. You can't buy gas, you can't buy an airplane ticket, you can't buy anything else. So you're basically under home confinement. Like the truckers in Canada, they were never charged with a crime. They were certainly never convicted. It was just they were doing something the government didn't like. Oh, the government was able to destroy their lives, and that is a very dangerous power to give government, and that's why I'm against central bank digital currencies, because that is part of the path to getting us where China is today. That's where they started, that's where all these other countries started with a central bank digital currency, and, uh, and it's the end of freedom. We will be slaves if we allow that to happen.